First item on the agenda is the pledge led by myself tonight. you join us in a moment of silence tonight and remember uh, Omer Brown. Mr. Brown passed away on the 27th. He was the father of Dr. Diana Brown, principal of Daniel McKee, and Christy Brown DeGraw, who is a teacher at uh, Rockvale Elementary. like to welcome uh, Bedford County School Board members. We appreciate y'all coming. Help us out a little bit. Uh, Mr. David Brown, uh, Diane Neely, Michael Cook, and Brian Cruz. Thank y'all for coming. Okay, uh, <clears throat> approval of agenda. We'll move. Thank you. Mr. Young, second. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hodge. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Approval of the consent agenda. Move we approve, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Second. Second. Thank you, Ms. Sharp. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, you say no visitors, correct? Right. All right. Number eight, old business, Mr. Burlock. Old business, number eight, 2020, 20, uh, 21 school calendar. It was brought to the attention of the Board of Education by the Election Commission Administrator, Alan Farley, that on August the 6th, 2020, is the primary election for the federal and state positions to accommodate the Election Commission for the use of Rutherford County Schools we have adjusted the two-hour abbreviated date in which students attend from thir on Thursday from uh, on August the 6th uh, fr uh, to Friday, August the 7th of 2019. We made that switch there. Brother County Schools will conduct an in-service on Thursday, August the 6th of 2019 in a secure location throughout the building. And this will minimize the number of changes to the approved school calendar. Motion to approve the revisions made to the 2020-21 uh, school calendar as presented. Questions? Have a motion? So moved. Mr. Hodge, second. Second. Mr. Johnson. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number nine. All right, number nine on the 2019 Rutherford County School Summer Conference. Practitioners found on tab three. Uh, number one. Amy Gullion will provide a one, uh, one 75 minute presentation session as part of the Rutherford County Summer Conference. The Rutherford County uh, uh, School System Summer Conference will be held July the 23rd, 24th, 2019 at Siegel Middle and Siegel High School. All expenses will be covered by Title II funds. Contract fees will be covered with Title II funds. Title II funds will be used at a rate of $250. Uh, number two, Amanda Collins, a Rutherford County teacher, will provide a 75-minute presentation session as part of the Rutherford County uh, Summer Conference. The Rutherford County School System Summer Conference will be held July 23rd, 24th, 2019 at Siegel Middle and Siegel High Schools. All expenses will be covered by Title II funds. Contract fees will be covered by Title II funds. Title II funds will be used at a rate of $250 per day, plus $45.28 to cover the employee benefits. Individuals be, will be required to pay usual and customary benefits since they are school system employees. Motion to approve the contract for Amy Gullion as a practitioner in the amount to, uh, not to exceed $250, and Amanda Collins, a Rutherford County school teacher, practitioner in the amount to, uh, not to exceed $295.28 to provide one 75-minute session each as 
part of the Rutherford County Schools 2019 Summer Conference as presented. Questions? Have a motion? Move to approve, Chair. Thank you. Second? Second. Mr. Hodge, thank you. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Facilities. All right, facility use approved for exemption pursuant to board policy 3.206, public education schools and institutions, post-secondary uh, education institutions, private universities, colleges, governmental entities or agencies that provide benefits uh, to the Rutherford County school system or have an in-kind relationship approved by the director of schools may request the board of education to allow an exemption from the use of facilities fee, which the board may allow or deny based upon the details of specific requests. The following groups qualify for exemption. Motion to approve the following group, Homes for Our Troops, uh, requesting a fee waiver for the use of facilities pursuant to policy 3.206. Questions? Motion? So moved. Thank you, Ms. Sharp. Second? Second. Mr. Young, thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Financial matters. All right, financial matters found on tab four. Number one, the general purpose school fund 141 for the 2019-20 uh, school year budget. County Commission Budget Committee has approved appropriations for estimated expenditures budget for the fiscal year of 2019-20 of $416,465,116. At the present time, the estimated revenues for the fiscal year of 2019-20 is $401,583,529. This revenue amount includes an additional 8.2 cents on the property tax that has been proposed by the County uh, Budget Committee. This proposed budget funds 5% pay increase for the contracted bus owners slash operators and a 2.5% pay increase for all full or part-time school employees. Motion to approve the 2019-20 General Purpose School Budget Fund 141 with $401,583,529 in revenues uh, and $416,465,116 in expenditures and use, uses sufficient fund balance to fund the General Purpose School Fund operation as needed. Questions? I guess I said everything I needed to say last night. <laughs> so I, I make a motion that uh, uh, we pass this. You want to take them one at a time? There's not really a motion on that one there. I guess we can. Yeah. yeah. Recommended approval. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jordan made the motion to approve. Do you have a second? Second. Mr. Young, thank you. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Motion carries. All right. Cap number, yeah, number two, capital projects uh, for the 2019-20 uh, school year. Uh, the projects totaling 7,064,990 are on, on this request that we discussed last night. Uh, motion to approve the 2019 capital project list as presented. Questions? Motion? So moved. Hodge, second. Second. Johnson, thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Capital projects. Yeah, number three, capital projects for the 2019-20 uh, school year. The projects that we discussed totaling $7,064,990 align with the County Budget Committee recommendation of a uh, proposed 7.5% property tax levy. That's a 2.8% added to the uh, additional fund we already currently are receiving. Revenues budget for this fund is estimated at $7,219,990. The trustee commission would be $155,000. It makes up the balance of the budget the budgeted outside actual capital projects expenditures for this fund. Motion to approve the 2019-20 capital projects budget fund 177 for 7,219,990.
uh, total estimate expenditures and the uh, 7,219,990 uh, in estimated revenue as presented. Question? Now, the only thing would change that would be if they did not approve the 2.8. And if that's the case, we'd have to go back and, and reevaluate. Right now, we feel pretty good about it, though, don't we, Jeff? We, we do, and probably the best course of action, if that happens, is to do an amendment in July, reducing the budget if we don't have time to change it before then, which could happen, because this, this, this could change on the floor of the Commission on the 26th. And one of the things that we would kind of, um, kind of speak to them would be the ability if doing that, the ability of, of preventing us from doing some of our early work because of use of the fund balance. Yeah. Okay. I have a motion to approve. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Jordan, second. Second. Jill, thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Facilities. All right, facilities found on tab five, Laverne Primary School, Jenna uh, Stitzel, coordinated school health, is requesting to build a 200 meter outdoor walking track at Laverne Primary School. The track will be fully funded by grants obtained by the coordinated school health at no cost to the board. Engineering and construction will provide the normal construction oversight and, coord and coordination. A motion to approve the construction of the 200 meter walking track at Laverne Primary School, completely funded by Coordinary School Health as presented. Questions? Motion. Move to approve. Thank you, Ms. Sharp. Second. Second. Johnson, thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, Rock Springs Elementary, engineering and purchasing received the bids for the addition to the Rock Springs Elementary on Thursday, May the 30th of 2019. Six bids were received with engineering recommending Boger Construction at the lowest and uh, the best and or the best bid. Boger Construction total bid with all the alternated included is $8,119,800. Motion to approve Boger Construction bid for Rock Springs Elementary Edition at $8,119,800 as presented. Any questions on that? <coughs> Motion to approve. Move to approve. Sean, second. Second. Jordan, thank you. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, number 13 is our policy reviews for the board members. A little extra reading in your spare time. Move right on. So. Number 14. On number 14, we've had a request to take uh, policy 4.602 separately. So as you read these policy numbers, we'll save that one for a second. Okay, the following uh, recommendations, policy 1.407, school district records. Policy 1.407 has been updated to change the district public records request. Coordinator from Lauren Bush to Sarah Page. Number two, policy 1.803, tobacco and vape-free schools. Policy 1.803 has been updated in line with TS, uh, TSBA proposed policy in order to clarify that vapor-based products are not allowed on school grounds and that the students in possession of either tobacco and, and vape products may be disciplined. Uh, number three, policy 4.502, parent and family involvement. Policy 4.502 has been updated to replace No Child Left Behind with references to the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. Policy 4.603, promotion and retention. Uh, policy 4.603 has been extensively rewritten to reflect changes in the State Board of Education Policy 3.300. Number six, policy 6.200, attendance, policy 6.200 has been updated to reduce the number of parent-produced excused notes for illnesses from 10 to 8. Number seven, policy 6.313, discipline procedures. 
a response to the Tennessee Department of Education Disproportionality Review, Policy 6.313, has been updated to add introductory language to encourage administrators to choose educational discipline that seeks to stop repeated behaviors while limiting exclusionary uh, discipline. Mediation has been added to disciplinary options and corporal punishment has been removed. Under level uh, four misbehaviors, this type of death, uh, the type of death threat has been clarified to distinguish it from uh, an electronic threat, which is zero tolerance by law. Additionally, sectional, sexual misconduct not resulting in a charge classified as a zero tolerance has been added uh, to the example list. Bomb threat was moved from level four offense to zero tolerance to align with current policy. Clarification as to when charges are sufficient for discipline has been added. Policy 6.314, corporal punishment, in response to the request of review uh, disciplinary procedures in light of the Tennessee Department of Education disproportionality review, the policy has been updated to bar the use of corporal punishment in Rutherford County schools. Number nine, policy 6.316, suspension, expulsion, and remand. Policy 6.316 has been updated to better, refl uh, better reflect the grounds for disciplining students for <coughs> off-campus criminal behavior. To, up tape, uh, to up, uh, date a typographical error related to the use of in school or out of school should have appeared, and to remove the reference to the language seeming to state that parent may request a disciplinary hearing be, an op be open to the public. Number 10, policy 6.317, student disciplinary hearing authority. Policy 6.317 has been updated to clarify that hearings before the DHA are closed to the public and explain the role of attorney may have if attending a DHA. Additionally, the ability to request an appeal to the board that is open to the public was clarified. Number 11, <coughs> policy 6.409, child abuse and neglect. Policy 6.409 has been updated to complete a sentence that was left incomplete. Policy 12, policy 4.806, Course Access Program, Policy 4.806, is proposed in order to comply with the new Tennessee State Board of Education rules. Motion to approve the following policies. 1.407, 1 1.803, 4.502, 4.602. 4 we're holding it out. Okay. 4 6.203, 6.200, 6.313, 6.314, 6.316, 6.317, 6.417, 6.409, 4.806, as recommended by the Policy Committee on Second Reading. Move we approve, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Jordan, second. Second. Mr. Hodge, thank you. All in, up, oh, Colorado, sorry. Yes. 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 Okay, now we'll go back to Policy 4.60. All right, policy 4.602, grade point average, GPA and class rank for 9 through 12. Policy 4.602 has been updated to reflect the weighted grading for dual credit and dual enrollment courses. Cambridge courses was added with the weighted grade chart. Additionally, a conversion chart has been added that reflects expected conversions when dual enrollment program issues only, uh, issues only a numerical grade. The standard for valedictorian and salutatorian has been amended to allow the highest achieved ACT composite to be considered when multiple students meet the other requirements for those uh, titles, beginning for the graduating class of 2023. The deadline for valedictorian and salutatorians has been clarified to be the end of the seventh semester. Outdated references to the 2009 and 2010 and the 2014-2015 school years have been removed. Uh, motion to approve, excuse me, policy 4.603, 
uh, extensively written to reflect the changes to State Board Education Policy 3.30. Motion to approve Policy 4.603 as written. Uh, All right, excuse me now, we've done excuse that. Excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, policy 6.02 as written. Move we approve, Mr. Chairman. Jordan, second. second. I thought this was the one we wanted the voice, voice vote on. Mm -hmm. We've got a motion and a second first. Then we, then we vote, whatever. Mm -hmm. we got a motion. I, I made the motion. I second. Yes, sir. Roll call, whatever you want to do. I'm, what did Ms. Sharp say? I'm sorry. <coughs> I, I thought the reason that we broke it out was the 4.602 was the one that we were going to vote. In. It is. It is. It is. He, he went back and changed. Yeah. All right. Let me let me go over it again. Policy uh, motion to approve policy 4.602 uh, as written. All right, Ms. Mox. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Right along here to. Uh, Tenure list. A yeah, correction of the 2018-19 tenure list. Uh, the following two names were left off the 2018-19 tenure list for approval. Uh, motion to approve or add Nathaniel Lillard, Siegel High School agriculture teacher, and Jameson Knox, Blackman High School history teacher, to the 2018-19 tenure list. Questions on that? Motion? So move. Mr. Jordan, thank you. Ms. Sharp, thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we had our insurance update last night, director's update. Right now, we've got our raw scores back from our testing. I don't know if I've said this or not, but I appreciate Mr. Whittington and uh, his job that he did in the, the testing coordinators in our school. They did a great job. Uh, things went off pretty much without a hitch. We only got raw scores back. We expect those uh, scores to be back, I think, the July the 22nd, when we're supposed to be getting the, uh, our, our reports back to us. And we'll be continue getting that until sometime in August, they'll be uh, providing designation as far as our schools and our district uh, are. Uh, we'll be attending a meeting tomorrow uh, in Lebanon uh, with the Commissioner of Education. There's supposed to be some updates there. If there's any changes, of course, I will uh, report that. Uh, we've also been looking at, as we're going forward, this is uh, something that we'll be doing in the fall, looking at rezoning. <laughs> We've got a couple of areas we'll be looking at to rezone. Um, there's some Mr. Uh, Mr. S's and I and, uh, talked about this back, I guess, after we got finished with that first one this year. And we've been uh, looking at this with, with Mr. Morgan and kind of put together something that will impact uh, Wilson Elementary and Walter Hill, and uh, something that we can do perhaps maybe for Siegel Middle as we look at rezoning uh, <coughs> sixth graders prior to getting to uh, Siegel Middle. That's what we discuss. So we'll present you that uh, sometimes in early fall, kind of look at that and uh, how we can uh, maximize the space we currently have. <coughs> perhaps uh, get by a year without having to add more portables. Is that it? That's it. All right, Ms. Johnson, Tennessee. I don't, I don't have anything to say. No report, thank you. Ms. Todge, no report? No report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. General discussion. Just a, a reminder, uh, we probably don't need a reminder on this, but uh, uh, today is, is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Um, perhaps the most important day in American history. And I just thought I'd call attention to it. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Jordan. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may ask, uh, 
Mr. Lee's not here, but maybe Mr. Spurlock can give us a, an, or you might make, can give us an update on the Matthews property. Has that been purchased? Has it? The, it, it they have closing on that? is this Thursday. Is that next correct? Thursday? Next Thursday. Closing is next Thursday. Is that right? Thursday. Okay, y'all got this handy little notebook from Mr. Evans? Well, next, what, Tuesday night, is that correct? Tuesday night, we'll uh, have our zone exemption appeals. So, thank you, Mr. Evans, for this. And, uh, is there any other? Okay, well, again, we'd like to thank Bedford County for coming, and uh, maybe we can turn the favor one of these days. We are adjourned.